Okay, so it's time to move on. Everything had some time to dry. Let me show you guys where the ship is at right now. We have put the LEDs in. And what I actually did was, <coughs> excuse me, I put in a few strips of paper just to kind of diffuse the light a little bit so it wouldn't be blaring up through the um, cargo hatches. So we've got the lighting all set right now in the ship. Um, we started, we put the well deck in. You guys remember we had put the little structures in. We got the grates for the uh, cargo hatches. We have the other pieces, the doors. We have the ladders as well as the supports. So when it comes to this deck now, before we put the next one on, because actually, let me show you guys what it's going to... This deck is going to go on here. <clears throat> and once we have everything, all the structures on the deck, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to close in um, the top sections, and then we're going to actually start to plank. But that that's not for a little while. So what we're going to do now is, I was thinking, it might be a good idea, just because we need to get the... Uh, all the little structures that are going to go on the deck. Let me see if we can keep this. So let me just get all this out of the way. I just wanted to show you guys what it looked like when it was lit. <clears throat> so when it comes to all the little things we have to do for the deck, you can see there's quite a few that we're going to need to put on. We got the cannons, we got the ship's wheel, we have like a little housing on top and the back where the deck is. We have these structures over here. And they, again, this, these are pretty vague, so we have to kind of feel our way around these. But this is the state where we're at. Actually, this one right here. We don't have this on yet, but we got the ribbing, the keel, the well deck, and then we got the top deck. So before we need to move on, we're actually going to do all these little structures. And we're going to stain them, and then they'll be all set to go. So once they're done, it'll be easy just to add them onto the deck as we need them. So, let's see, you can see this one. C1 and C2 are gonna go together. And that makes C, and then we got H1, and so on. So let's start with the upper left-hand corner. We're gonna start with the C. So we gotta go through the, the tree. And that's just it, I could be looking right at it. Okay, so here's the C2. So we're gonna need C2 and C1. So we've got the C2s, those are all set. And now we need to find the C1, which is a longer piece. All right, we got these, and now <clears throat> we got these little nubs that we're just gonna clean up just a bit. Just enough to get it smooth. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay, so those are all set. <clears throat> so now what we need to do, we're going to do the next square over, and you can see we're going to need the H's. So we're going to need the H1, the H2's, and you can see how it's going to look on the bottom.
So you can see H2 right here. So we got a lot of the, those tiny little things to, to cut out. All right, so there are quite a few of these. So those are H2. So we need H1. <clears throat> H1 looks like, I don't know if that's one piece or if that's a combination of the H1s. So let's, because I can't really see the H1. Oh, here it is. So this is going to be, wow. This is going to be a little tricky. I mean, real sure not to, not to damage this. All right. So, all right, guys, let me show you. You really got to be careful with this. See how absolutely minuscule that is. Okay. So what we got to do now is that's going to go flat and we're actually going to, I guess we have to put those little pieces up against it. And I, doesn't, I don't think it makes a difference which way it's facing. So why don't we have it with the black outline facing forward. So we got to put the little wedges up against each one of these. All right, see how they're going to go? All right, let's get all of this all set. All right, hopefully you guys can see what we did. They're gonna be uh, like little supports. All right, so we need to put that aside to dry now. And we have extras. I probably shouldn't have taken them all off. I probably should have counted them first. So those will have to be uh, put aside. Okay, so that's all set. So now it looks like we're gonna do, we're gonna make a little, looks like a horse. So we're gonna get it two G1s and one G2. So you can see there are three G1s. Actually, there are four. Uh, yeah, there's three G1s. Well, actually, there's four and four. So I think we're going to make four of them. So we got to get the G1s out and then the G2s Let me show you guys what they look like. Okay, so we got four of these. All right, we got all four of them out. So I'm gonna face them all with the outlines facing forward. And now you can see we got the, um, the G2s. All right, we got the four of the G2 pieces out. Okay, and we're gonna take this now, this section, and these are gonna go right across that section that we just glued. And I'm, again, I think this is going to be for all of the rigging on the sides, like where the rat lines are going to go. All right, what do we got next? So we got this, that's done. Oh, cool, looks like we're going to move on to the cannon. So there looks like there's pretty, uh, there's a lot of parts for the cannon. We got P1. 
P2, P3, P4, and P5. And there's going to be a lot of those. So P1 through P5. I think I had seen that over here. Oh, wow. So these are the little, wheel, the little wheels that are going to go on the sides. Um, so we've got P2, 4, 5. So we've got to find P1 and P3. All right, I think those are on here. So we got P1, look at all the cannons. And I'm trying to find P2. All right, let's get the cannon off first. So we'll do it this way, all right. So we'll start with P1. So. These are pretty fragile, so I don't wanna break them. There. So we got all the cannon barrels off. So now we'll look for the P2. I think that's what that's what these are right here. So these are P2s. So all the P2s are gone. And now we got to do the P3, and those are the outsides of the cannons. Okay, so we got them all off. So we've got the C1, uh, excuse me, the P1, P2, P3s. P4 and 5 are actually going to be the wheels. And you can see, <laughs> naturally, they have two sizes. So they should be really fun. All right, I think I got them all <clears throat> broken up and off of the tree. And this is going to be huh, real fun because they're two sizes. So it looks like the one in the front is going to be the larger wheel. And the one in the back is going to be the smaller one. take the larger wheel and that's going to go on the front so what's going to happen is the front part it's going to go like this and it's going to go on there and I'm thinking what I, what I want to do is we'll put the cannons on first. Then we can use the cannon to hold the platform as we put it onto the sides. I think that might be a little better. the last cannon <sighs> man so let me show you guys what I've been doing so when they're dry we can see they're so tiny so we have the the two sides the two sides go on a tiny platform 
And then we have the four wheels. One is larger than the other, and then we have the cannon itself. So man, that took a long time. That was a lot of work doing that. So we got the cannon done. This one looks like the ship's wheels. So this looks <laughs> a little easier than the cannons. So let's see, the ship's wheel is number one one and number one two. We have one one over here. Um, did I see one two? All right, that's not on here. But we do have the one ones. So let's get the ship's wheels cut out. So let me show you guys what these look like. They're pretty tiny. Again, I want to keep the part with the uh, scorch marks facing forward. Okay, and we're going to need part one, two now. So let's see. I think, yep, here it is. So we're going to put it on this side and we're going to put one section. We're going to put the other one on the other side. All right, what, what's next? Looks like we got to put the little deck house together for the back um, deck. So we're going to need 42, 42, 1, 42, 2. All right, so I think i just seen that. So here's 42. So this is going to be the top. So let's get this. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. So what we got to do now is we got to put the sections together. So I want to put the section that's scorched on the outside. Okay, so now we're going to bring them together. All right, now what I want to do is while it's still a little pliable, I want to go ahead and we're going to actually put it onto this section. So this is what's going to go underneath. So we'll just put just a little bit. What I want to do now is we're going to make sure that it's even on top. And this is going to go on top of the back deck, but there, see how that looks? All right, let's move on to the next little section that we got to do. And that would be, okay, we did the ship's wheel. We did the, the great section. Let's see, this looks relatively simple. We need J1 and J2. So let's see how many of those we have. All right, is it not on this? <clears throat> Let me see. Okay, so here's J1. Okay, so it's on this one. So let's get this little piece out. Man, you see how that thing just likes to take off. Let me make sure that that's the piece, yep. There we are. And that's the J piece. All right. So that was pretty, pretty painless. So it looks like now we're going to do the 41. 
We got one and two, and that's going to end up being the Z. So it looks like we have some railings. I think these are going to go around the masts. So why don't we go ahead and we're going to look for 41 and 42. Oh, no, that wasn't too bad. So when it comes to these pieces, again, we have to glue. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we have to form a C with it. So I think we'll do it this way. We'll put that just a tad. And we're going to use tweezers and we're going to put it right here. So I'm going to let that dry. So we're going to put that to the side so it doesn't lose its shape. I'm going to keep it. Okay. So that looks, that looks good. That was this section. So now you can see all the crate, the, uh, the grates that we're going to be using. And I think we already used these for the well deck. So we got 30, 38, 39, and 40. We've got 38, 39, and 40. I think my plan originally was to take them out and stain them. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to keep them on a tree so we don't lose track of their numbers. And when we put them on, I'll stain them after I glue them in place. We'll do that instead. So that took care of that. So now it's going to bring us to the anchor. So we're going to need parts K1, K2, K3. So one, two, and three. So let's see. I know I had seen the anchor. Here it is. <clears throat> it's a little more tricky to get these out. You can see that's pretty thin. There, we got the other one. Okay, so that was um, K1. There we are. <clears throat> and lastly, we need K3. You can see those are the little pieces that are going to go on the ends. So we got four of those. Make sure they don't take off and go flying out. put this section right over that just like that okay now we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing for the other side and lastly we're gonna put the pieces those little points on and the uh, the point is going to be facing outward. do the other side again we don't need but just a micro drop of glue again we're going to take the point is going to be facing outside set so I think I think I'm gonna rest this on the ship just cuz I make sure we move the deck first 
let's put it right here so nothing will interfere with those little pieces from drying okay we'll do the other one now and we're gonna do the same thing we'll put the surface on the wood part going across there we are Um, I want to put them over here as well, just so nothing will disturb them while they're drying. Okay, so let's take a look now. We did all these structures. Again, we're going to keep these on a tree. We're going to use them when we need them. And 38, 39, and 40. Looks like when we go to the upper deck, um, we'll be using them. All right, so let's check out everything so far. You can see the ship. Um, we've got those little structures in the well deck going back. The next deck we're going to put on is the aft end or the poop deck. And you can see we got the, uh, the anchors are all put together and ready to go. And they're drying. Going back to where the captain's quarters would be in the rudder, um, you can see that once the structures are done, we can think about putting the sides on where the cannons are going to stick out, and then we can think about planking. Taking a look at some of the little things that we've done, you can see the cannon. The cannon were a little tricky because there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there were eight pieces for each cannon. We had the main barrel. The barrel rested on a small type of plank. And then the support, that would go into the sides for the walls. And then eventually we had the small wheels. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to do the, um, the stain. We're going to do the espresso on all the wooden parts. But the metal, I'm actually going to paint the barrels black. So that's going to be black. Whereas everything else, I think I'm going to put the espresso. I think it'll look good when it contrasts because the, um, the deck is honey maple. So all these are really stick out nicely. So when this is all dry, the next video, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to color everything. So we'll stain it. And when it comes to the guns, we'll, we'll stain it and we'll paint the barrels. So my friends, I hope you're enjoying this build. And I hope I'm improving my skills when it comes to this. I've learned so much from the Halco model. Um, I've learned to be patient. <laughs> and hopefully my skills improve. And hopefully the HMS Victory comes out a lot better than that ship did. So my friends, until the next video where we color everything and get everything ready to put on the ship. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you soon. Yeah.